need to. Between us and that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, I don't know. People who don't know much, I'm sure. I don't know too much about ourselves, but this, that was, uh, I don't know. That, I mean, it was all right. It was just sort of exciting, a riotous, riotous well, rock. Well, what it was is they, they <laughs> blew up the PA on the Jane's Addiction tour, and Jane's Addiction, because they're real rockers, kicked them off. Oh. Uh, I David, don't know. David. It, it's, it was all right. It, it's just sort of um, not my cup of tea. Mm, they're big fans of Sonic Youth. Oh. Uh, big fans. We have a I thought rule. it sounded pretty good. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't want to criticize it because I don't really feel any negative feelings for it. I just sort of. Mm -hmm. You said this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said I that. did not. A negative statement. You can't prove that. <laughs> what about you, David? It's not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> You're very British there. We have, a, we, have a, we have a rule in Peribu that if a band comes and tells the promoter that if they're fans of ours, they can't open for us. Because <laughs> invariably, it works out badly. Yes. Tea, tears before tea time. Sort so of what, about, what about the four Andy Warhols then? What, yeah, that was they Andy good. Warhols? They've all got they the all same, like Andy Warhols, same here. They've all got Andy Warhol wigs. Was that, with the, on, was that on purpose? I missed this. No, I think it's just this a freak of nature. I mean, they want to, they're a real excitable band. They seem like they really want to make music that's uplifting, which is to be commended. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be that unique. I mean, it's just sort of... They're fast, it's fine. They're, they're getting a reputation of being one of the most exciting live bands in the country at the moment. But, of course, Sonic Youth are going to prove that different when they start playing here quite shortly. Um, they are, pl That's, wait a minute, hold on, where is it here? They're on a short tour of Scotland and England at the moment, so look out for Burden if you like that. Anyway. They rule. They rule, they rock, they sock. Um, coming up very shortly, more videos and views. We're going to now take two minutes out so that we can talk amongst ourselves. Why don't you do the same thing? <laughs> Oh, here we go again, another bloody Stock Aitken Waterman record. They're all the same. Well, that was very exciting, wasn't it? And welcome back to Video View Part 2, a show with a lot of good energy. Now then, due to a lack of attention in the music press, it seems we have passed over Belgian new beats. However, one of the founder groups big on the continent, surprisingly going gold in Belgium with their last single, Headhunter, our Belgian group, Front 242. David, what's up with you? Um, it's a compilation video to a compilation album. It's called Front by Front. Now look, David, it's happening far too often that people are making my mind up for me. Now, why do you why 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 did you press my button as well as yours? You must have a very well, good I think reason. It was, a, it was a joint effort. But I I mean, if we could first we could say something glib like it was blue and we didn't like the chicken and the hammer. <laughs> but in the essence, there was no substance to the substance to that so far, and it was violent and nasty and ugly, and there's too much ugly music, and there's too much music, and there should be some rules, and people should not be allowed to express themselves just because they go out and buy something, you know? Yeah! <laughs> uh, can, we try and, can we try and pull that apart a bit? I mean, what was the, you know, what was wrong with the violence in there? Well, I mean, number one, I mean, okay, we're gonna now, we've been glib and we've been happy so far. Yeah. Now we're gonna be serious here. Um, Always happy. We're gonna part, analyze so. three seconds of a video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, clearly, music is, it should, is more, has value and worth. It should. And clearly, you have to have, you know, there has to be some sort of standards here. There has to be some sort of, uh, uh, it's more than just noise and entertainment. You have to have substance. You have to have meaning. You have to have worth. I mean, this is what it's supposed meaning to be Meaning is not easily gotten, especially just the arbitrary use of a preacher's voice in a, an electro track. Is, is total bullshit. Mm. But you sort of like talk about meaning and substance, but it also relates to your subjective perception of that, doesn't it? No. I mean, yeah, because like when you, when Donny Osmond, <laughs> when Donny Os 
But when Donny Osmond was on Video View, he looked at the Pear Ubu video and he said, this sure. is garbage, man, that doesn't sound good, there's sure. no melody in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, isn't, are you applying that sort of criticism to, no. to this as well? No, it, it's, a, it's a long, I mean, we don't have a lot of time to go into this, but when Eric Clapton was, I would be talk very quickly, everybody, okay. hold on. Do like my <laughs> links. Ready, Mark, set, go! When Eric Clapton was very young, he served an apprenticeship. He was listening to Muddy Waters or Lightning Hopkins or something, working it out on his, on his guitar. He was imitating. He was, he was like an apprentice. He was, at some point, he developed a vocabulary. He learned that sound had inherent meaning, that there was, there were, there was, there was a substance to making sound. He developed his own grammar, his own language, and he, be, he graduated to become a master. Okay. Since then, there's been an increasing uh, uh, alienation of sound from the musician. That sound has become more and more an object, a commodity. You pile the blocks together, you got a song, big deal. So increasingly, the, the, the notion that sound inherently has meaning and substance is, and has, is, is, a, is a form of language has been lost, and it now becomes something that you no longer have to serve an apprenticeship. All you have to do is buy the machine and turn it on, and it makes the sound, and you no longer have a relationship with it, and the audiences no longer understand that there is meaning, and that sound, some weird sound actually has a value, and a cinematic value, and a, an emotional value. They just think, oh, that's a funny sound. You know, because, and, and drums have to serve, and it's all because of FM radio in the 70s in America and compression, and what do you know? I think you nearly spontaneously combusted just mm -hmm. there. <laughs> I think it's definitely one for, if you're at home and you're videoing this, I think we want to rewind that and listen <laughs> to it a few times and we'll like pull it apart, but let's just leave it as it is for the moment. Anyway, thanks very much, David. Thank that was you. fabulous. The book, The God That I Am, will be published by David <laughs> Thomas in the next few weeks. Now, the most successful rock band in the UK at present are the cults, soon to be even bigger than that. Here's the new single, Firewoman. Ian Ashby tells us it's about his 67 crazed firehorse lady taking the Sonic Table album. Here's a slice of radio hot rocking passion. Thank you. <laughs> right, it's time for your monologue now. We'll just sit back, have a cup of tea. Attack. That kicked. <laughs> <laughs> the call, I don't know. I mean, the, the call, the call are like the all-purpose fan me. band. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> They're fans of rock music. And they basically, all their ideas, I mean, they're called the cult. When, when I first heard of the cult, I thought the Blue Easter cult got back together again and dropped the first two parts of their name. And Sonic Temple. <laughs> yeah. So what about uh, that? I mean, can you, can you, you know, applying some of what David said earlier, which I still don't quite understand, I mean, what do you say about David, that? David, I mean, you can't have, I mean, it was very a, a basic observation. I mean, what's, I mean, it, it, I, tell you what, I don't see anything wrong. I mean, you know, anything is valid if you, if you want to look at it one way. I mean, you can have, if you want instant roots, Mm -hmm. You know, that's fine. You can disp dispose of your culture, if you wish. Um, when Ian Asprey was on Video View last week, he was slagging a lot, of, a lot of music off and saying it didn't have any passion, didn't have any oomph, nothing at the heart. I yeah, mean, I saw that. Can you, what do you think about what you've just seen in the light of that? What he said. Do you think he's, he's sort of found, found his epicenter? Do you think he's sort of expressing himself well enough? There's a lot of passion there. Yeah, it's, it's his passion. I mean, I, I guess it's a very kind of shallow thing. I mean, he's just sort of a paint-by-numbers kind of approach. Well, music is not, shouldn't be about self-expression. We don't want people expressing themselves. It's not very interesting. You, you, know, you know, there's too much self-expression, you know, it seems to me. I don't, I don't want some, some musician being angst-ridden and, 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 and tortured. I mean, he's got a good life, you know, compared to the world population, you know. True. He's got more money on that, or we, anybody, has more money on stage than, you know, than half the town somewhere. So, I mean, that video, I know for a fact they spent a quarter of a million dollars making it. And when they were, re, uh, when they were filming it and letting people into the club to be the audience, they only let in foxy babes <laughs> to fill up the first 20 feet of the audience. Mm -hmm. And then they let in the rest of the the crustaceans. But surely, I mean, okay, that's fine, yeah, I, 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 I 
I can understand what you're saying, but every, so, I mean, that's kind of, every video is contrived, though, isn't it? Every video is like, course. even with Sonic... Well, all art is pretend. It's just all pretend. But, I mean, you, you, have, to limit, you have to try to avoid self-expression and... And, and, How can uh, you avoid self-expression, though? If it comes from you, you write the songs, you write the music, whatever, it's your expression of yourself, surely? No, it's all pretend. Well, who are you pretending to be, then? You're just making this stuff up. It's just like television. <laughs> it's like cartoon shows. You know, all these people standing here. It's just all being made... It's like these goldfish! You know, it's all being made up. It's all, we're all pretending, to, you know? And so you, get on, you don't get on stage every night and go... <gasps> oh, you know, and, and you know, you, you pretend to go... <gasps> you know, it's... Well, that's, that's, but that's certainly to do with being a musician where you're playing a live day every time. I mean, do you, do you feel that you're just repeating something every time you're on stage or is it every time different for you? Um, yeah, somewhat. But, I mean, most of it is just sort of, it's just, uh, just an emotional release. In a pun? It's just emotions. So, so I mean, it's do just, you agree with Dave when he says it's not self-expression? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's, I'm not quite sure I do agree, but I'm not, I, I don't know if I disagree with that. I mean, it's just sort of, to me, it's just basically a, a it's just sort of like it's it's an art form and it's a central art form at that so mm. you have a lot of questions around it so for pretending then what's what's the reality then what's so what, what's real about you then if a pair of uber well, albums not, is, is if it's something you made it's, it's up like a, it's like a, it's like any art you when you're on stage and you and you're they're doing shakespeare somewhere they're all pretending i mean the, the point is the meaning and the substance of what the message the medium isn't the message you mm. know the message is the is the message you know so i mean it's, it's a longer discussion than we can it's, deal with on TV. It's a longer discussion than we can do on TV. But this is a, and there has to be lots of waving you, of hands that, and things. That you at home could, could, could join in on later on this evening or tomorrow morning. You could wake up <laughs> early and talk about it. Um, and let's get on to the next video. This comes from New Order. With a, it's a remix track from the Technique album. The video was shot by an ex-fashion editor. And it's got clips of a screen test they did on top New York models where they were asked embarrassing questions about their fathers. Judge for yourselves, round and round.